past two weeks have been pretty crazy. The tree work. So a week before last, my 362 died on me. I was having trouble with it, and I've got a video with it, taking it to the shop, putting it on the computer, and getting it fixed back up. And I'll be dang if the same week I got my 362 back and got it fixed, the 400 is acting up now too. Might be kind of the same issue. I'm not sure. I had a uh, one of the screens in the carburetor had some stuff in it, but the biggest problem was was the uh, fuel line that comes off the fuel filter goes up out of the tank right up there at the top of it it was split and i think that was the biggest problem of the whole deal and i tried looking at the 400 and i couldn't really see any split in it so i don't know if that's maybe the same thing or not but i got to drop it off but the last two weeks has been just solid every day running and i'm not talking about running a little bit i mean running hard i got i'm burning right now about 500 dollars worth of diesel a week which you know is not uh, with the diesel fuel with what it costs right now is not it don't take much to get 500 something dollars of diesel and then saw gas holy cow been going through some saw gas too keeping all that stuff going but so man that's pretty good uh also Let's see who's gonna go who's gonna go i'll go nobody's gonna go y'all sit there chipper gas uh been blowing through a bunch of it too because this one job over here i ended up chipping eight solid loads on the dump trailer of chips eight solid loads now that's about 18 yards of chips on the on the dump trailer there and it was eight of those dudes that, that I chipped and just a lot of a lot of tree chipping. I gotta look at my knives, see what they look like too. It may be time to flip them. We'll we'll look at them and see. I tried to watch everything I was putting in there to make sure it was good. So uh we had a two major frosts this week. So leaves here ought to really start coming off these trees now. I mean it was uh got down in the upper 20s so it was pretty heavy you see where it's got stuff wilted down on pretty bad all the normal summer growth there it it hammered it out uh, i don't ever remember having a having a frost that that hard like that this you know in october early october or mid october i should say so let's go on out here and get this lift got the lift home got it unhooked got on the charger now I'm going to unload these two things uh, here and get them off the trailer. I've got a uh, stump grinding job tomorrow that I'm going to do. It's got 19 stumps on it. And I'm going to show you something with this thing. I've actually got uh, a sharpener that will sharpen these carbide tips right here. And uh, and it's pretty mean, too. It will uh, get with the program on those teeth. and It don't cost... Uh, it's not too expensive either but uh makes a huge difference on them those same teeth on that thing i've got 70 something hours on them now and in that 70 something hours i've only replaced three teeth and so i'll show you here in just a little bit so there's a 400 it'll crank and idle and everything but when you go to give it to uh, give it throttle it up yeah well It'll throttle up under no load, but when it's under a load, it uh, it's not wanting to do anything. And look at it leaking the oil out of it too, right there, lovely. So 400 is gonna go to the shop tomorrow, which will be Monday morning. This one there got the remote control for a stump grinder. Crank this stuff up. Get it off the trailer. Power it up. See what she's got on it here. That's 77 hours. And the teeth still look pretty good on it.
This is the uh, New River wheel. Like I said, I'm gonna show you here in just a little bit. This thing I got there is one that's chipped, but that's not gonna hurt anything once I sharpen it there. I'm pretty happy with the way those things have held up. Cause there is no telling how many stumps I have around since I've had that thing in that 70 something hours. If you mess with stump grinders and you got the carbide and you want to put you want to fix them up there there's your answer right there uh, i bought this thing i actually seen it and got it i'll show you what it is i got them with the hub or without the hub i've used it a few times already it's a diamond wheel and this is where it comes from from uh, bad dog tools you can get them on uh Amazon, but I didn't see the one with the hub with the screw in hub on it They just had the ones that didn't didn't have the hub there, but I actually ordered this one from bad dog this with the hub cost uh, $200 is what it is. They shipped it to me real quick And so they've got a, a lifetime guarantee on this dude, but it will flat eat this carbide so like uh, What happens is these side cutters are still they're still good the brunt of the cutting is done with the lead front cutters right there the lead ones you can see what that is wearing the side right there i'll show you one let me all right so this one right here what happens is is the they round off right there on the from where just to wear on the carbide and you see the side ones still are, are pretty good even after 70 some odd hours and the three i replaced were on the front and I hit uh, some metal. Very first job I did, I hit some metal. But so you can take this grinder, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. And you can put another 90 degree edge on it right there on that carbide, and it eats it up quick. I mean, it'll it'll get it. But so about the only time I, I really get on these uh, side cutters, I'm taking a big bite out of a thin piece or something like that, and I can really cut it on the side and, and get it. But you can see even like this one right here this broke and chipped i can still fix it up too and just keep right on uh right on running it so unless something catastrophic happens i'm gonna end up getting several more hours out of these teeth now like these right here they're starting to wear thin they still got plenty of metal they'll probably last 20 more hours or so maybe but uh the biggest thing about it is it just it speeds your cut up. So when you put an edge on it, it goes right back to hogging again and you you know you speed up what you're doing. So for two hundred dollars, new teeth for this thing from the dealer are a little over eighteen dollars a piece. I've seen them where you can order them and get them down in the fifteen dollar range. I actually seen one place that was around the twelve dollar range, and I'm not so sure about them, and I was gonna order some from them, but they were out of stock and uh probably because of the price of them they got them uh 
cheaper than everybody else but so i've actually got two two more sets for this thing and it'll be a while before i'll have to uh put any on so i'm going to show you how how i do this and uh with the grinder It's that quick, man. There's eight of these lead cutters and there's 16 on the sides. I mean, it just, it's really fast right there. Last one right here.
So I put another 90 degree edge on it to where it'll, where it'll bite and chisel out that stump pretty quick. I'm not even gonna hit the ones on the side. And not even putting uh, much pressure on the wheel at all, just, you know, light pressure. And I mean, it eats, I mean, I've messed with trying to sharpen some uh, carbide before in the past and it ain't worked out too well. That's some tough stuff, very hard stuff, but uh, this uh, thing right here will uh, will get it. Like I said, I, they didn't count until I bought it and everything and that's where it came from. You can look them up online or you can get them. I think I got a list of them on Amazon link down there too. You can uh, look down there. So, uh, I'm gonna, the easiest thing to do is open this cover, take him, it's got two three quarter bolts right there and just get it out of the way to where uh, you can get in there to the wheel and do it and you ain't all working down here on the face of it down there, it makes it easier. It also makes it easy to uh, swap the teeth out if you gotta swap the teeth, but I've already got these wear pads, these are replaceable. Right here, these things, they just weld on. You just blow the weld off of them. And they've got hard facing on them. I've got them. And then I've got some of these these teeth pockets uh, coming, which you can flip these. So you can take this and you can flip them around and everything. You can get a lot of wear out of those things. But uh, so I like to try to stay on top of uh, the maintenance stuff to make sure that I've got everything in stock that I might need, you know? Cause you know I run a lot after hours and on the weekends, and some of this stuff's a little hard to get right now too. So it makes sense for me to keep it, keeping it stock. You know where if I need it, I got it, and uh, I'm just slap it on real quick. But I'm gonna uh, grease it and look over the machine. I don't think there's anything that really needs to be addressed on it. I'll probably blow it out and she'll be ready to uh, rock and roll. And so far, I've got zero complaints out of this machine. It's, uh, it's a workhorse, man. I wasn't so sure about the coal or diesel engine, but uh, it seems to have plenty of power to run it and do it all. Because this thing is, uh, is a 6,000. It's, it's running the pressure on it set at 5,100 or 5,200. PSI, these are six wire hoses on it. I guess if I had to wish for something, it would be just a bigger fuel tank on it because it don't hold, but uh, I think it's eight and a half gallons of fuel. And if you're running it full load on this thing, the paperwork on it shows like three or three and a half gallons an hour is what this thing can uh, can burn. And so in this, and if you're really working it, running in the stumps, you know, hard, just hammering it one right after another, it'll... It'll pull it on down. It'll suck that fuel in there pretty quick. But the biggest thing about these things is just keeping them uh, greased and make sure everything stays tightened on them, which I really hadn't had to uh, go, you know, tighten anything that I've seen come loose on it or nothing like that. But just keep it greased because, man, this is your heart of the machine right here. This thing is sitting there pivoting just hundreds of times, hundreds of cycles, you know, and just, just tons and tons during the day and up and down and everything. So all this stuff right here, Make sure you keep it uh, greased up good because it's getting a lot of lot of use on it there. But again, for the for the money, for I think this one was right around sixty two. That's what I paid for it. Hard to hard to beat it, man. And it does good in the hills and the steep stuff too. It does pretty good. It's a little bit slow on pulling, like coming up hills and things like that. You know when it's getting some really really steep stuff. But it'll still, it'll just, you know, just kind of paw right on up on, you know. I had anything that I found that it spun out on, you know, and just got just, or just wouldn't go or anything. I have had to back up. I had one so steep I had to back up. I was trying to go straight up and I had to get in an angle, a little bit of an angle, and uh, come on up it like that. But that'll help me tomorrow putting the edge on those, putting that 90 degree on those things right there. Because uh, when I go to, get those stumps those 19 or more we'll uh we'll roll through them there pretty quick or should anyhow i'm gonna go get this video ready we're supposed to have a little bit of rain this next week and i'll do a little bit more burning but 
I didn't have any intentions on working Friday or yesterday, which was Saturday. And man, the folks that on that street just kept, you know, wanting more and more work done. Each one of them were wanting something done, you know. And again, it all goes back to jaws make jaws, man. And, and so if I can jump on them real quick and uh, roll that money, that's what I'll do. I'll get that get that done but i hope to kind of get back on the schedule um you know normal posting because i've missed a few days here recently but uh it is what it is you know it's a uh, crazy old deal so i i get it while i can get it you know what i mean and <laughs> it's like the more jobs i do that i try to knock out the more that i get and it's like this I mean, it's almost like drugs for me trying to get them done, but they just keep piling, piling up. So I uh, just got to be okay with, you know, with sitting there, them piling up sometimes, you know, it's just the way, way that it is, man. So hope y'all enjoy your Sunday this Sunday and uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe I'll get the crane video out tomorrow and get it out for everybody to watch. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.